Hello viewers, how are you doing today? This is class number 6 of my mental math series. Today I will teach you how to subtract two digit numbers. Just like in class number 5 where I taught you two tricks for adding two digit numbers in your brain, subtracting two digit numbers can be done in two ways in your brain. And now it all depends on you. Follow the trick you are most comfortable with. So let's begin. First, we will do method number one. Let's take a question, 53 minus 21. Now, the way we are going to do it using method one is that we will split the question into two parts. We will subtract the tens separately and the ones separately. Remember that I'm writing down this in front of you, but Actually, you will be doing all of this in your brain. So what are the tens in 53, 5? And what are the tens in 21? It's 2. So 5 minus 2 is the first part. And then the ones are 3 and 1. So 3 minus 1. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And 3 minus 1 is 2. Single digit subtraction at work in our brain. And the answer is 32. Simple, isn't it? Let's do another question. 87 minus 53. Split the question. Subtract the 10 separately. 8 we get from 87. 5 we get from 53, the 10's part. And the 1's part, 7 and 3. So 8 minus 5 is 3, 7 minus 3 is 4, and our answer is 34. So we subtracted the tens separately and the ones separately, and we get our final answer. This seems fine at this point, but we will arrive at a slight problem, and you will see in the next question. 65 minus 39. Split the question, tens, six is from 65, three is from 39, and the ones are five, and then minus nine. But what is this? Can we subtract a nine from five? And here is the problem with this method, that it cannot be as simple as we were doing it before. Just like in normal subtraction, we have to do something important. So six minus three is three, but it will not stay a 3 or in other words 30 because these are the tens that we are subtracting. We will need to borrow a 10 from this 30 and we will end up with 20 here. And we will give this 10 to 5 so it becomes 15. And then 15 minus 9 again we know this kind of subtraction. So 15 minus 9 is 6. With practice obviously you will become fast with this but we need to borrow here. So the final answer is 26. Now let's do one more question. 76 minus 48. Split the question. The tens part, subtract them separately. So we get seven minus four on one side, which is actually 70 minus four. And then the ones are six minus eight. Again, we cannot subtract an eight from six. So we need to borrow. So we got on the tens part, seven minus four is three, which is actually 30. So we need to borrow a 10 from that 30 and give it to six. So it becomes a 16 and the 30 becomes a 20. So 16 minus eight is eight and our answer is 28. Now we will do method two. And in this, we will be using the same questions that we did in method one so that you are able to do a better comparison to find out which method is easier for you. So what was the question that we did in method one in which we had to borrow? That was 65 minus 39. So in this one, what we have to do is that the number that we are subtracting, we have to make it a multiple of 10. So 39, if we have to make it a multiple of 10, we will take it up to make it a multiple of 10. Remember to take it up and not make it 30, but 40. So what do we add to 39 to make it a 40? 
we need to add a 1 to make it a 40. And remember this one that you have added. So 39 becomes a 40 and 65 stays the same. And now we have another question in front of us, 65 minus 40, which is a relatively simpler question because we are subtracting a multiple of 10 from 65. So we have two ways of doing it. We can either do backward counting, that is just go backwards in multiples of 10, take 65 backwards in multiples of 10. So 65, 55, 45, 35, and 25 and we have gone back four times in multiples of 10 so that is easy or we can just subtract the tens which is very simple single digit subtraction 6 minus 4 that will give us a 2 and 5 minus 0 is 5 so just write down that number and we just need to add this one that we had given to 39 to make it a 40 to 25 and this is the final answer. Personally, I find this method simpler. So let's do another question, which we did in method one, 76 minus 48. Now we have to make 48 a multiple of 10 by taking it up and not down. We have to make it bigger. So 48 should become a 50 and not a 40, okay? How do we make 48 a 50? We need to add a two to it. So our Question becomes 76 minus 50. Again, you can do backward counting or you can do 7 minus 5, which is 2, and 6 minus 0 will stay the same. Because if you subtract a 0 from 6, nothing will happen to it. So it will stay the same. So this is 26. And remember the 2 that you added to 48 to make it a 50 and just add it to 26 2 so 26 plus 2 is 28 and this is the final answer let's do one last question so that you clearly understand what's going on in method 2 so 92 minus 35 35 we have to take it up we need to add a 5 to it to make it a 40 and 92 stays the same so 92 minus 40 and again either backward counting or just Subtract 9 minus 4 is 5 and 2 minus 0 is stays the same. Add the 5 to 52 so we get 57 and this is the final answer 92 minus 35 is 57. So I've shown you two ways of doing subtraction in your brain, subtracting two digit numbers in your brain. Just practice a lot to find out which method you find easier and you're more comfortable with. In the next class, I will be teaching you some other mental math trick. And please remember that all my classes, coding and mental math are 100% free. So you do share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel till now, kindly do so. And do download my mental math app because all my classes are basically based on this mental math app and it is 100% free available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. And the advantage of using this app is that first of all, it is 100% free. And secondly, you will get unlimited questions for practicing your mental math. Another thing is that I have a Facebook page and I keep on uploading interesting worksheets there. And recently I've started also uploading mental math worksheets. After every one or two classes, I upload mental math worksheets there. So you can check them out to print them out and just practice your mental math on these worksheets too. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.